A couple of centuries ago, any knowledge of the Earth was restricted to the world beneath the sky. In the same restrictive sense, any imagination of a world beyond the sky was tied to religious preconceptions of heaven and whatnot. Thanks to science, we discovered space. We've since moved from previous conceptions to the knowledge that our planet is one of nine that circles the sun, and that it's also part of a galaxy. Space is so full of amazing stuff. You don't need to have a friend in NASA to know this. Just one look at the discoveries they make open to the public, and you'd have your jaws dangling in awe. Even at that, nothing quite shatters the mind like the collision of three galaxies. Yes, you heard me right. Three galaxies. You all know what galaxies are, right? Galaxies are vast systems of dust, gas, dark matter, and up to a million or trillion stars, all held together by gravity. There are different types of galaxies in space, and scientists helped classify them according to their appearance. We have the spiral galaxies, elliptical galaxies, irregular galaxies, and lenticular galaxies. Our own Milky Way is a spiral galaxy. Before the 20th century, scientists were only able to identify the Milky Way and classified other similar masses in space, like the Andromeda, as nebula, until Edwin Hubble. Hubble was able to discover that the Andromeda was also a galaxy, and that it's 2.5 million light years away. You know what that means? If you wanted to get to Andromeda for proof of life, Earth might not even exist by the time you get there. That's just a joke. But really, if light's the fastest thing in the world, you can imagine how many calendar years it'd take for anyone to reach the Andromeda. But that's just the Andromeda. Other galaxies are much farther. While there are space missions to the Moon and even to Mars, space scientists can only learn about galaxies through powerful remote-controlled telescopes. And the collision of not one or two, but three galaxies, was captured in the same fashion. Telescopes may have started out as large spyglasses mounted close to the window, but they've since evolved into more sophisticated machinery, capable of peering into the vast depths of space, violating the concept of time at the same time. Now they have wings and float above orbit, and their ability to uncover space phenomena millions of miles away makes them more powerful than ever. One of such telescopes is the Hubble, and it is one of the most powerful telescopes in the world. We can't see most of the stuff in space because they're so far away. They appear faint or disappear entirely. The Hubble can pick up stuff that's 60,000 times fainter than the human eye. Then it enlarges what it picks with cameras equipped for long exposure photographs. It is thanks to the Hubble that space scientists were able to detect the collision. Just so you know, the collision of two or more galaxies is called a galaxy merger and they're the most violent types of space interactions because of the clash of gravitational force involved. If you thought asteroid fields or black holes were destructive, well, think again. You couldn't have been more wrong, but as destructive as they are, they are quite significant to the longevity of the universe. Clearly, galaxy mergers play a part in how galaxies evolve. Space scientists can also tell how our own galaxy and the world we live in came to be by studying how galaxies collided in the past to form our Milky Way. Galaxy mergers are one of the things you'd expect in space, but they're not as common as shooting stars and are even rarer than asteroids and comets. So you can imagine why there's such a fuss about this one. A triple galaxy merger. It's got such a ring to it, yeah? However, scientists were so close to missing the collision, had it not been for a citizen-sized project called the Galaxy Zoo. They'd been tasked with examining and classifying about 900,000 images of galaxies that the Hubble had captured, most of which had never been examined. At the time of its inception, it cinched the record of the largest galaxy consensus in history, with 100,000 volunteers. Such a record-breaking feat opened doors for an even more spectacular achievement because they identified the phenomena before giving way for NASA to zone in. Now they have also added one more record to their bag as they will be known to history as the group that led to the identification of this triple galaxy merger. To top it all, NASA admitted that spotting the collision of three galaxies would have taken their astronomers years to accomplish. The Galaxy Zoo, however, did it in 175. NASA astronomers picked up the job from there and refocused the Hubble on the particular spot bringing to light the beautiful but violent spectacle of three galaxies colliding together and merging slowly. These galaxies are 681 million light-years away, 
which is also too far for any human expedition to dream of, except they have cryogenic chambers. The galaxies are in the constellation Cancer and are called IC2431. Perhaps sometime in the future, it'll get a fancier name, much like Andromeda or the Milky Way. But for now, we will all have to stick with what the space guys have called it. The site of the IC2431 was so awesome to keep in. NASA had to let it out for us all to join in. It's beautiful, isn't it? Kinda reminds me of the Northern Lights, but this is more enthralling. Pity we can't see it from up close. Quite surprisingly though, the IC2431 didn't just come into the light recently. It was first discovered on February 24, 1896 by Stefan Javel. Thanks to the Hubble, the whole world's able to see it in heightened clarity more than a century later. Apart from its visual engagement, however, there must be some other thoughts running through your mind. At this point, you know that galaxy mergers are a vicious process, more aggressive than even black holes. You must be wondering what happens when three galaxies collide. Well, you don't need to be a geek, an astronomer, or a prodigy to understand this. The answer is really quite simple, and properly laid out thanks to our space scientists. Galaxies are not concretely formed like asteroids or planets. They are full of space and contain gases, stars, and planetary systems in loose clusters. As such, one or more galaxies can flow through each other, with few collisions between its stars. However, galaxies still remain planetary bodies, each one distinct and unique by itself. Merging with another galaxy is bound to create some reactions. One of which is that clouds of gas in the merging galaxies will be compressed until they form new stars, creating a new star formation. The beautiful outcome is what's called a starburst. The existing stars from the individual galaxies will survive the collision, mostly without damage. However, the gravitational push and pull, a result of the collision, will change the orbital paths of these stars, giving them a new route into the newly formed galaxy. But that's not all. Scientists speculate that at the center of every galaxy lies a black hole, which means there's a black hole right in the center of our galaxy, the Milky Way. Don't worry, we're safe. NASA would have alerted us if we were circling dangerously close to a black hole. We can't say the same for the galaxies in IC2431. Their black holes are going to collide at some point, adding more violence to what was already a raging storm. These black holes, like the rest of the galaxies, are going to become one large hole lying in the midst of the newly formed galaxy. You're dying to see such a process, aren't you? I mean, if the violent collision can be this beautiful, how about when the three of them have fully merged? How spectacular would it be then? However, you will not be able to see it. Sorry to burst your bubble. The merging process can take billions of years, and no human has been known to live that long. Yet. Even our own galaxy is on a collision course for Andromeda, but that's going to take 3.75 billion years. I even doubt vampires will live that long. Normally, when black holes collide, it produces something called gravitational waves. According to space scientists, gravitational waves are released from the merging of black holes, and it creates ripples in space and time. They have been successful in catching such waves from other black holes, but never from a galaxy merger. They have a theory. The black holes merging at a collision event like the IC2431 do not work exactly like other black holes. Rather than release these waves that mess with space and time a little, they release a version of these waves that are quieter. Work still being done on gravitational wave detection. Hopefully we'd meet success. At the very least, we could show the future how to go about it when the black holes of the IC2431 finally start merging. The Milky Way was like one of the IC2431 once. What you see today is a product of over a dozen galaxy mergers through billions of years. Perhaps someone else in another galaxy far away had noticed our galaxy merging just like the one in this Hubble image. And now, we're doing the same thing. This is just purely speculation though. Still, it points to the cycle of evolution that occurs in space. The image the Hubble captured might be chaotic, but it's more about its creative ability than the violence. This is one of the reasons the collision of three galaxies is such a big deal. Do you think there may be other collisions out there? Let us know in the comment section. Like this video if you haven't. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and notifications button. You don't want to miss out on all we have in store for you.